Circuit breaker testing is used to test the performance of individual switching mechanism in relation to the time it takes to trip. This test is done as part of testing and commissioning for the new project to ensure that this device will work when it needs the most. It is also vital for existing establishment for maintenance purposes and ensure all circuit breaker are functioning properly. Faulty circuit breakers could result to overloading of the circuit, which may cause fire, damage to property and death. Dozens are feared dead in the Philippines after a fire broke out at a popular mall that happened in the city of Davao. The procedure in trip testing is very straightforward. First, you have to ensure that your breaker is accessible for the testing. Connect the testing probe on the circuit breaker one phase at a time. Put the breaker lever to on or close position. In this example, we have 100 amp circuit breaker rated current, and therefore, we have to inject 300 amps from our equipment to the breaker. On your test equipment, set 300, or 3 times of the breaker's rated current, as per ANSI standard, and record the time circuit breaker will open or trip. Once you press, test, button, the testing equipment will start injecting current, and within seconds, breaker will open, or trip. You have to repeat the procedure, for the other phases, and record the time it takes, to trip the breaker. Rich and Bill, Bakery for Unique Test of Baking Delicacy. Bread break, any all of us needs a partner, and for your coffee, bread break will not disappoint you. As per ANSI standard, on table 100.7, circuit breaker that has a rating of 51 to 100 amps, with a nominal voltage of 251 to 600 volts, shall have a maximum tripping time of 60 seconds, which is about 2.6 minutes. Our sample presentation, recorded within 14 to 15 seconds, and therefore, the subject breaker, passed the trip test. Some of the consultant, engineering officers and companies will not refer ANSI standard as a criterion in this test. Like me, we have to refer the test result to manufacturer's data, or the breaker curve. In our example, we obtain the breaker curve from the manufacturer's website. We plot the 300 injected current on its TCC, or time current curve. Based on the curve, a maximum and minimum clearing time is marked 20 seconds and 6 seconds respectively. This means that the breaker shall trip within that period of time. Tripping before 6 seconds, or beyond 20 seconds means the breaker failed the test, and needs to be replaced. In our example, since the test result is within the range, our circuit breaker passed the test and proved its reliability during operation. JP Engineering. We design, we signed and sealed plans, we construct, and we supply.